you have a few different options for drawing lines and paths. If you want a hand-drawn scribble effect, you can use the brush tool. But usually you want more precision than that. If you want to draw a path or even a shape with very precise control, you should use the Bezier path tool. However, if you're creating a diagram and want to draw some connecting lines between boxes, the best tool is the Smart Path object. Smart Paths are found here in the library under this curvy line icon. Click the curvy line icon once to enter insertion mode. You know you're in, in insertion mode because the mouse cursor will change from the normal arrow to a crosshair cursor. To begin inserting a Smart Path object, click anywhere on the canvas. You'll see the first point in the path appear. Now move your mouse to another location and click again to add another point to the path. Note I'm not dragging here. I'm pressing and releasing the mouse button and then moving my mouse cursor to a new location without dragging. Also notice that as I move the mouse cursor, the Smart Path automatically adjusts the radius of the curve around the previous point. This is the smart part of Smart Paths, and it's part of what makes them powerful and useful. Smart Paths will automatically smooth themselves out to create nice, pleasant looking paths without requiring a lot of precise editing or tinkering. Again, this is especially useful for diagrams needing lines or arrows between boxes. Okay, I just want one final point in this path. I'll add a third point and complete the path by double clicking on the canvas. Now I've exited insertion mode and returned to the normal editing mode. I can tell because the mouse cursor has changed from a crosshair icon back to the normal arrow. You can see the path is highlighted on the canvas. That means it's selected. If I click on some white space on the canvas, it'll be deselected. I'll reselect the Smart Path by clicking anywhere on it. I'm going to increase the line width of my Smart Path by looking for the Stroke Palette in the Inspector on the right, and clicking the Increment button next to the Line Width text box. Now the path is easier to see. Okay, while the Smart Path is selected on the canvas, you can see square blue editing handles for each point on the path. I can drag these around to change the path, and again, you can see the smarts in the smart path as the corner radius of the curves is automatically adjusted. You can add new points to a smart path by double clicking anywhere along the path. You can see a new point has been added and of course I can edit that point too. Again that's double click anywhere on the path to add a new point. Now you can also remove existing points from a smart path by double clicking on any existing point. You'll see the existing point disappear and the smart path automatically adjusts. There are two other very important features of Smart Paths. When one or more Smart Paths is selected on the canvas, the Path palette will appear in the inspector on the right. Here you'll see two controls, Type and Radius. Let's look at Radius first. Drag the Radius slider to increase or decrease the corner radius of the selected path object on the canvas. With this adjustment, you can create a Smart Path with either straight right angles or bulging curves. Now, try changing the Type pop-up from Curvy to Straight. Notice the change in the Smart Path on the canvas. This gives you two different options for the type of curve around each point on the Smart Path. This gives you a lot of control over the style of lines and diagrams you draw using Smart Paths. Okay, I'm going to delete my path from the canvas by selecting it and pressing the Delete key on the keyboard. Here's another tip. When you're drawing straight Smart Paths, you often want to create paths with totally straight vertical or horizontal lines with right angles. You can do this by holding down the Shift key on the keyboard. So let's create a new straight smart path with right angles. I'll click on the smart path object in the library and begin a new path by clicking anywhere on the canvas. Now I want to draw a perfectly horizontal segment on my path. To do that, I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard. You can see as I press and release the shift key, the horizontal line toggles on and off. So while I've got the shift key held down, I'll click again to add a point. Now for the next segment, I want to go perfectly vertical. So I'll hold down the shift key again and move the mouse downward and click again while still holding the shift key down to add a vertical segment. And I can continue adding new points while holding down the shift key. And then finally, I'll double click to add the final point. That exits insert mode and returns to normal edit mode. Notice how the mouse cursor changed back to an arrow. Okay, so that's how you draw perfectly straight paths. Finally, like any line object type, you can add arrows to the endpoints of a smart path. Look for the arrow palette in the inspector on the right. Here you'll find two pop-up menus for selecting from many different arrowhead types. The selection you make takes effect on the selected smart path object on the canvas.